So about 13 years ago, I started as a, a project engineer for McCown Gordon Construction, which is a local general contractor. Uh, the, about 10 years ago, Daniel Lacey started. When I started at McCown Gordon, um, I was fortunate enough to sit in front of him. So hearing those stories got me the itch to ask the question of, hey, what's going on in Kansas? And, you know, I was really fortunate enough for him to invite me to come along. And, you know, I'll never forget the first hunt. Uh, we had our limit in about an hour of green heads and geese. And fortunately for me, it was the last weekend of hunt in Kansas. So I had to really sit there for a whole year, <laughs> just really anxious to get after it again. Ever since, man, I've just been hooked. We hunted a lot back in those days before kids. Uh, it was a lot easier. We unfortunately don't get to hunt as much, but looking back at those days are some uh, you know, really good things. Along with uh, duck hunting and being involved in the outdoors, uh, Dad was also a big member of Ducks Unlimited, uh, being chairman, co-chairman throughout the years. Just really grew up spending time with Ducks Unlimited. So I got involved in Ducks Unlimited through uh, Richard Woody. He was the chapter chairman of the Greater Kansas City area chapter. We're the oldest area chapter around Kansas City and he just reached out to me. The chapter was kind of slow at that time. We were looking for an event to put on and we established the S. Preston Williams uh, dinner banquet, which we have every year now. And it really got, got new energy in the chapter. And, I raised my hand to take it on and I've been doing it for seven or eight years now and two years ago I took over for Richard as the chapter chairman. It's led me to hunting in Missouri but ultimately led me to a great movement of conservation through Ducks and Missouri, that's for sure. If I were to say anything to anybody out there right now, my generation would be take, take a kid hunting. That's something that I have now gotten a lot of enjoyment out of and I would just encourage anybody to take Take someone hunting that is young, because that's our next generation. Being a coach and a teacher, I, I feel like the most important part of anything is, is being ethical, knowing the rules, abiding by the rules, no matter what the situation, therefore being respected by other hunters, respected by game wardens, respected by any authority. What you do in the duck field is going to carry over to what you do in the rest of your life and in every situation. I love shooting ducks. I love duck hunting. And, but I think what I love about it the most is it gives me the opportunity to have that time that our busy lives sometimes try to pull away from us. I really enjoy being able to go down and just spend time with my brother, my dad, my son, and my, and my best friend, and on occasion get to shoot some ducks. One of the things I really enjoy the most about duck hunting and, and feel is, is probably the most important thing is that it provides an opportunity for my sons and my grandchildren and I to get together, have the enjoyment of each other's company and uh, bonds me tighter to, to my family. The friendships in duck hunting will, they'll be forever lasting. Um, sometimes they're not as consistent as usual, but um, as Chris and I used to hunt together all the time, um, what we look forward to now is eight years from now, taking our boys hunting. Watching them grow up together and hunt together and figure out their own way of calling. And 
you, you, it's kind of weird. You uh, grow up hunting to shoot ducks, but your priorities change over time, that's for sure.